I had a person ask me one time, how is it that an opera singer can project themselves over an entire orchestra? Well, I'm going to show you how that's done. Now, here is me singing Una Furtiva Lagrima, uh, one of the more famous tenor arias. At the very bottom, you're going to see the raw waveform of what it is. But at the top, we are seeing a TFFT chart that tracks where um, the strongest points within the frequency range of my voice. Now, down at the very bottom, you're going to see a more brightly yellow uh, coloring that is occurring. This is happening with regard to the core of my tone. But what a singer has, as well as other instruments, is what's called an overtone series. That means that if I'm singing at middle C, or let's say low C on the piano, then the overtone series is these added tones that happen above the core pitch. So an overtone series would be low C, then it's octave, middle C, and then the fifth above that, which would be G, and then going up to high C, and so forth and so on and so on. A singer that is able to correctly have a relaxed everything, but only tension where he or she needs, is going to produce these upper color tones. Now, these upper color tones operate within a certain frequency range that not very many orchestral instruments have or resound in. Along with this upper frequency range that occurs with trained opera singers, there is also a vibrato that is happening. A vibrato roughly between five to seven cycles per second is needed along with this singer's format or squealio, as it's also known, the overtone series that is what cuts through. It is not how loud a singer sings, but it's how well they are able to be trained to be able to sing and relax and get everything placed just right so that the natural overtones occur and a natural vibrato occurs. Now, women, sopranos specifically, have much more of a powerful overtone range than men do. But it's what gives the opera singers that trumpet type of quality. So the overtone series combined with a vibrato produces the squealio or the core or the singer's format. So take a listen here. Una furtiva lagrima Negli occhi spunto Okay, so if you followed along with the cursor, you'll notice that where the higher yellow stuff, that's where I got more trumpety, especially on the higher notes. Now, a, a trained singer has this if he or she is working proper technique. Now, if you get a singer without a microphone, without all the effects, if they sing and they are not trained, you're only going to see this bottom color probably not very high in the frequency range, and next to nothing up in the upper echelons. They won't be able to produce themselves over an orchestra, and they would have to give more effort to be able to sing more loudly. If you have a trained singer, they're able to make this naturally and have less effort for more power, so to speak. So that's how a classical trained singer is able to sing over an orchestra.